Hello everyone. Today's video is about a missing person in Missouri. His name is David Zachary Koenig. His nickname is Big D. He was a mixed martial arts fighter out of Branson. His last fight was in 2017 though. His last date of contact was February 8th. 2020. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, etc. And let's get going. David Zachary Koenig, or Dave, is 6'6 six six and 240 to 245 pounds. He has brown hair and brown eyes. And David was staying at the Peachtree Inn in Branson. He was staying there for a couple days. He's friends with the owner and he was last seen at the peach tree on February 8th, 2020. That's also the last time his younger brother heard from him. It was his younger brother's birthday. Dave's family reported him missing on March 6th, 2020. And they state that he wears two silver necklaces and he usually has a backpack with him. And if I remember correctly, it's a black backpack. And distinguishing features, besides the fact that he's six foot six and 245 pounds, is that he has an amputated middle finger on his left hand. And as his brother said, if he flips you off, you'll realize it's him. <laughs> He has multiple tattoos on his arms, his chest, and his stomach. And like I said, he was an amateur MMA fighter. His record was 3-1. and one. He lost his first match, but his other three fights were all win streak. They were all won by finish in the first round and in under one minute. He's a big boy. And you would think that he'd be able to take care of himself. So this is really scary that he's missing. His mom is scared. On the 8th, he had messaged a couple of people, not family, but a couple of people that he was friends with um, that he thought he might be in some trouble, might need some help. Um, by the time those people were really able to get back with him and got that message, um, he stopped messaging and nobody's been able to reach him since. We haven't heard anything from him. Nobody has. He hasn't called, texted, or been on social media since February 8th, 2020. He's family oriented and he's really close to his family, extra close to his younger siblings, and they've not heard from him since February 8th either, which, like I said, was his younger brother's birthday. It's not something he would do. He had been known to go off on his own, off-grid, so to speak, for a few days at a time. But once it made it to, you know, almost a month, they knew, deep in their hearts, they knew there was something horribly wrong. So they reported him missing. They haven't had much luck. They've been trying to get it out there on social media and as much as they can, so please share this video. Get the word out. Thank God for social media. It's been amazing. We've had so many people reach out to us to help. Um, a lot of people that I've never met before but knew Dave and actually told me how much of a great guy Dave was and that he had helped them in so many ways. Um, so they are reaching out and turning every stone trying to help. Anyway, they want everyone looking for him or anybody that knows anything to please contact them besides his strength Dave is also a talented singer and he plays the guitar so you know he's not just all brawn either and he's well liked they don't know offhand of who any enemies could possibly be but on February 8th, 
Dave used Facebook Messenger to contact a couple of his friends and in those messages he said that he thought he might be in trouble and that he might need some help. His friends didn't get those messages right away and when they did go into their messages and saw those and tried to get in touch with him they weren't able to get back with him there was there was no response from him and no one heard anything after that and like I said he has gone off on his own for a few days at a time in the past so the family waited a couple weeks to report him he's never gone you know weeks without contact the Missouri State Highway Patrol as well as the Branson Police Department they're looking at his disappearance as foul play as one of the law enforcement representatives said his last Facebook messages sounded like he was in distress and as they said a six foot six 240 pound man does not just disappear so somebody has to know something you know as I said before the owner at the peach tree where he was last seen is a friend of his and they were giving him a place to stay for a few days he had lost his phone and had just recently purchased a secondhand phone that just had Wi-Fi enabled you know no uh, no telephone number no calling and that was the way that he kept in touch with his family and friends was through messenger over Wi-Fi so if you've seen him around if you've heard anything about it you know, about what could have happened to him contact Branson PD at 417-334-3300 or you can contact the family's tip line at 417-331-0143 the family is offering a five thousand dollar reward for information that leads to locating him and also Dave if you're out there if you're seeing this please contact your family let them know you're okay Man, honestly I was just trying to come out hard from the gate you know and uh, I wasn't really expecting him to land on top of me but when he did I was just kind of depending on my jiu-jitsu my ground game you know I had my whole team in my ear the whole time you know tell me what to do chant me on so that that's what gets me through every time I'm just going to keep on going, man, keep on pushing, you know, uh, keep up the intensity, man. And, uh, you know, when, whenever a pro card comes out that wants to take me on, you know, I'm just waiting for it, man. But I'm just going on my coach's advice now, and uh, I'm just going to keep on going. I don't need any breaks, man. I want to I wanna keep going where I'm at. So, thank you to all my family, Bullpen Mafia. Bullpen Mafia. All right. Hey, yeah. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you for watching Another Day in the Car with Jules. He was a mixed mortal. He was a mixed.